you know, it's very rare that an announcement actually makes me sit up and say, wait, what the fuck? I was so shocked, and I'm pretty sure I'm not alone in that. The announcement came out of left field so much so that people online are fucking pissed. Crystal Dynamics announced today at Gamescom that Rise of the Tomb Raider will be an Xbox One exclusive. Yeah, you heard me right. An Xbox One exclusive. Initially, this game was coming out on basically everything, so something must have taken place between E3 and led to this deal, and I'm sure it involved a lot of money. Now, before I weigh on, on the reactions I've seen online, let's talk the logistics of this deal. I personally think that Tomb Raider will only be a timed exclusive game because while Microsoft have deep pockets, I doubt they could pay Square Enix enough money to compensate for the sales they're going to lose. Tomb Raider sold over 6 million copies, so this game would sell more than 3 million units if it was released on multiple platforms. If it's an exclusive, the sales are going to be cut in half, at the very least. We also know that these fuckers were developing the game for PS4 and PC as well, and given that Square Enix is making about as much money as a 500 pound prostitute, their stingy ass is going to want to release those copies and make as much of a return as possible. I'm betting that we'll see this game make its way to PS4 and PC in 2016, though the sales on those platforms will be fucking slashed. And also consider how many Xbox exclusives have now made their way to PC. Dead Rising 3 and Rise Son of Rome, both coming to PC now, it's probably going to happen. Ultimately, Microsoft snags some real selling power with this game. Tomb Raider is big again, and I'm sure a lot of people will buy an Xbox One just to play this game. They made a smart call, but right now, I'm kind of in awe of how stupid Square Enix is. By making Rise of the Tomb Raider an exclusive, they basically fucked the franchise for the future. Once a multi-platform game goes exclusive, the sales fucking decline, not just for that title, but for future entries in the series. If you take a game that was once available to everybody and put it all on one platform, all the people who actually really give a shit about the game will migrate to that console, while people on the other platforms won't give a shit. This is what's gonna happen. I mean, this is what happened with Titanfall. Because Titanfall was on Xbox and PC, PS4 sales for the game will never be as high as they could have been because all the people who actually legitimately gave a shit about the game already own an Xbox or PC. When you're in a position like that, no money Microsoft can give you will compensate for the lost sales you're going to have overall. Square Enix is run by dipshits, and that much is clear here. They saw Microsoft wave a check in their face, and they took the fucking money without using their brains and realizing that it was only going to be bad news for them. It was a stupid decision. Ultimately, Square Enix took the money because they need the money. But if they used their brains, and they understood that Tomb Raider is actually a big seller and put on everything, they would have made more money. That's just how it is. I mentioned earlier that people online are fucking pissed. There's thumbs down on all the videos talking about it. My article on the story is full of fucking comments. And people are going online abusing Crystal Dynamics. So does that mean that people online who are pissed are justified? No, not to me. Firstly, don't get pissed at Crystal Dynamics. It would have been Square Enix's call. I will admit that Crystal Dynamics haven't been making things better. In their blog post, they basically said, Oh, you're on PC and PS4 and can't buy this game? Don't worry, you can still buy Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Why the fuck would you say that? Now, a lot of people online have been saying that they feel betrayed. As fans of the series for a long time, console exclusivity matters to them because it forces them to buy that console. Now, that logic is retarded. I've said this so many times, please fucking listen, and please don't leave shitty comments and thumbs down just because you don't register this in your brain. Publishers and developers don't owe you anything. They make the game and you fucking buy it. That's the extent of your relationship. You may like certain games and developers more than others, but just because you're a fan of a game doesn't mean they owe you. Why the fuck would they owe you? Because you played their games? They'd be like me saying McDonald's owes me because I buy their food. It's stupid. Don't get me wrong, you can be mad about this. If you didn't want to buy an Xbox One, this must suck for you. But that's just the way the industry works, and it's the fault of the gamer. You fuckers wanted a console war, so Microsoft stepped up their game. They secured a big fucking exclusive. That is, without a doubt, going to move Xbox Ones. And now that they have a third-person shooter to go up against Uncharted next year, the Xbox One's prospects aren't looking so dim anymore. 
Personally, I think Uncharted 4 is going to be way better, but a lot of people love the Tomb Raider reboot. Microsoft knew that Tomb Raider as an exclusive will sell systems, and while some people won't be able to buy the game, a lot of people who are pissed off will end up migrating to the Xbox One for Tomb Raider. It's going to move Xbox Ones, and for that, you have to give Microsoft a hand. It's super beneficial for them, and the PR disaster is really going to hit Square Enix and not them. Lastly, I get the feeling this reaction is so negative due to selfishness. People don't give a fuck that some of their fellow gamers won't be able to play this game. They're just pissed because they can't fucking play it on their platform of choice. So many people are trying to get preachy and act all high and mighty when in reality, all they care about is their own fucking money. I have no problem with that. As long as you just say, yeah, I just don't want to buy an Xbox. Don't get fucking high and mighty on your own self-inflated moral compass. To wrap this video up, I'd like to make a hypothetical. If Rise of the Tomb Raider was a PS4 exclusive, would everybody be this mad? If you say yes, you're fucking delusional.